Hi, I'm Sarah Henson and I'm an email copywriter and strategist and I'm a bit of a tech geek as well. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate your domain name into your Gmail account. Now, before I get into the tutorial, I just want to direct you to the link in the description that is the blog post that goes along with this tutorial so that you can get the background of why I suggest using Google, why I suggest using Gmail, why in fact I would recommend using G Suite instead of integrating into your Gmail account. However, if you do want to integrate, this is what you need to do. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, so First of all, I'm going to go to a Gmail account that I've set up, um, and this is my Gmail email. So what we want to do is create a email that is your domain name that comes into your personal Gmail account. So I'm using a, a Gmail account, which is the Sarah Henson at gmail.com. And what I'm going to do is set up, for example, if I wanted my business email, which is hello at sarahhenson.co.uk, to be sent to this personal Gmail account, this is how we do it. Um, first of all, what you need to be able to do is wherever you have your domain name hosted, so your website, so mine is sarahhenson.co.uk, I have that um, name hosted at Namecheap. Now, what I would do is then have a, a hosted mailbox at Namecheap, which uh, receives emails. And then what I would do is set up the integration in my Gmail form to collect that email from that mailbox. So the thing is, you still need to have a mailbox set up. So that's what you would do. I'm actually going to show you a different account that I'm going to integrate into this personal email account because mine is already set up with a G Suite account. So my hello at Sarah Henson is already a G Suite account. So I'm actually going to use an account that I manage. So this is in SiteGround and I've created a new email, um, support at pjeaplumber.co.uk. And what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go into this area here, configure email clients. And this is what we need. These are this information here. So what you need to do is create a mailbox with your domain, where your domain name is hosted and get these secure settings so that you can then integrate it into your Gmail account. So what we're going to do is go back to your account, your Gmail account, you go to settings, see all settings, and we go to accounts and import. Now you see there are two sections here, send mail as and check mail from other accounts. And you need to integrate both things so that you can receive emails and send emails with the domain name. So we're going to add support at pgaplumber.co.uk into here. So we're going to so we're going to click here, add another email address. Hopefully you'll see that pop-up box. And what we're going to do, this is to send mail. So what we'll do is enter the email address that we're using. We're going to treat it as an alias. And then we, what we're going to do is Add in the details. So let's just pop here. So we're going to use the outgoing server. And so the server details are pgaplumber.co.uk, which has already been pre filled. And then the SMTP port is 465, which has already been pre filled. We add the username, which is support at pgaplumber.co.uk. And then we just add in the password that we create the account that we use to create the account. Now it will ask you to verify your um, email accounts, but this is, a, a, this is where a lot of people get tripped up because how can you get your email if you haven't attached it to an email account? However, whenever you set up your email account here, you can you get, access it through webmail. So if we go into access webmail, it will allow me to go in and you'll see this email has already been sent here. So I can open that, find my confirmation code, bring back my yellow box, and then copy and paste that in there and verify. And that disappears. And you'll see now that that is now present there. Now we need to do the other one, which is to check mail. So we need a, um, the incoming mail so we add a mail account the yellow box pops up and then the email address again
import emails from another account, we're going to use the pop three, which is this one here. So the username hasn't fully been pulled in. Use the password that we created the mailbox and the pop server is again PGA plumber. Now I've had problems with it, this in the past, so let's see if it works. 995, you see pop three is port 995. And let's label incoming messages. Okay, as I suspected, we need to use the non SSL settings for here. So what we do is look at the pop three and use this. So the username is the same, support. The uh, pop server is mail dot. So that was what was in there in the first place. And then we use the password. And of course the pop three port is 110. And then add account. Cross fingers, this will work. There we go, that's disappeared. And if we go back to the Gmail, you'll see it's in there. And then the next step is to just test it out to make sure that it's working. So what I'm going to do is when you open a new email, you can select which account you're going to send it from. So I'm going to send it from this one. I'm going to send it to my and send. Now I'm going to go away and check that that comes through. Okay, so I'm in my Sarah Henson accounts, my G Suite, and this has come through. See, the subject line is test, and it's come from support at PGA Plumber. So what I'm going to do is reply, received, and send that, and see if it comes back into our old other accounts. And there we go. You'll see that that's been received and sent through. Sometimes it takes a little while for it to be sent to the hosted mailbox and then straight through to Gmail. So, but you can see that it is actually working. And there we go. And that is how you integrate your domain name email into your personal Gmail account. And, and you can always select which account you're sending from whenever you send an email. If you want to reply to any emails that get sent, you need to make sure that you're actually sending from the correct one. However, you can go back into your settings and make that new account your default. And that makes it the default one to use. So we'll try that. There we go, it automatically selects the support. And that is how you integrate your domain name into your personal Gmail account. If you'd like more tips, tricks, and hacks on how to handle your emails, your copywriting, and the tech that connects it all, then be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button so that you get notified, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.